I'm Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And welcome to another little part of my series where I play short indie horror games. So lately I have been skipping the big games. I've been just taking some time to play some short, little one-off games that you guys seem to be enjoying. So today is not going to be any different. Um, if you're not interested in this one in particular, I am going to be playing Martha is Dead next. So, and that one's going to be, I, I looked it up, it's about six hours long which knowing me, it'll take even longer than that. So I wanted to get this one done today. And then the next video you see is going to be Martha is Dead. I also wanted to say that this is the first time I'm drinking wine out of an actual glass in like literal maybe two months, okay? <laughs> After I realized that I can drink wine out of plastic water bottles, like Poland Spring water bottles, and not have to do any dishes, my entire life was changed. But today, I thought we'd get back to business. And when I mean business, I mean we're going to work. We are starting a new job today at a convenience store. I didn't think that this was the career other than YouTube that I would choose to do. Um, as you know, I used to work at the vet. I actually started a new job a couple months ago that I haven't told you guys about. Uh, but it's definitely not the convenience store. So this is going to be a new one for me. Um, I really don't know what this game entails. I feel like I might have watched someone, like, start to play it years ago. Like, when it first came out. Like, it's been out for years. Um, and then as soon as it started, I was like, oh no, I'm gonna play this on the channel, so I stop. I, I do that a lot, where I'll start up a video, I'll be watching something, and then I'll be like, nope, can't watch it, can't watch it anymore because I'm gonna play this. So this has been a long time coming, I'm gonna shut the fuck up now, and let's get started with the convenience store. Also guys, I forgot to show you, I got a new chair! She's beautiful, she's white, and she's going to get fucking ruined, I already know it. Um, but yeah, I got a new chair. Alrighty, so... Let's start the convenience store. This screen is lovely. Real lovely. It's time. Need to get ready for work. Alright, we got some basic controls. Look at these graphics. Is that a fucking... Guinea pig? Chinchilla? Uh, what, what is that? Chocolate. That just scared me. Slept well. Is that a chinchilla on the table? Like, Is it a stuffed animal? Is that a squirrel? What is this? Anyway. Um... This is... <laughs> scary. <laughs> it was that another mouse? Do we just have mice in here? What is that? Change clothes. Yes. Okay. Oh, 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 I got a TV dinner. That's a TV where, okay, here's a microwave. Warm it up, sure. We're gonna eat this for breakfast. Nice. What do we got out here? Oh, this is our, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a kitchen. This is a really scary apartment. It must be like a shared kitchen that we have, and this is our little studio. Uh, eat the bento. Okay. <laughs> it's dark outside. Alright, well. Can't touch that. Okay, well, I guess we'll get going. Let's close our door. Gotta bring a flashlight? Is this... Pick up flashlight. Ugh! This is scary. It's like... Already a horror game. This bathroom is a horror story. There's no mirror! Alright. Okay, well, let's get moving. Can I turn up my sensitivity? 
Oh, I can. Okay. The sensitivity was so slow. And then there's brightness. I, I don't really know. Camera effect. <gasps> Wait a second. Wait a second. This looks nice. Oh, crap. You can see my mouse on the screen. <laughs> Look at our beautiful apartment now. I s it, it, it is a stuffed animal. Interesting. All right. Let's keep it like this. I like this. This is creepy. Where am I going? <laughs> Guys, this isn't the convenience store that I thought it was gonna be. I didn't know this was like an actual game. It's just, um, let's try to get down there maybe. Yeah, these stairs. This is not what I was expecting. <laughs> this is creepy. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I'm just gonna follow the lights. Yeah, this seems right, I think. There she is. Okay. I don't know why the game couldn't have started inside the store, but all right. Is that a person? Hello? Ew! <laughs> he looks like smushed. Ew, I hate it. Hello? Why his arm like that? I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all by the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Kia! Excuse me? Eek! What are you sitting here for like a weird spaghetti noodle? Whose van is this? Is this your, is this your van? Get out of here. Where's my flashlight? Why can't I fucking see? Am I still holding it? Yeah, I am. That's really weird. Okay. <laughs> Let's go inside. Wow, it's bright in here. Hi, uh, there's a guy outside and he's really creepy. Oh god, you made it. Hmm? Oh no, it's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. I didn't even know I crossed a bridge, to be honest. It was too fucking dark. There was an old lady that said that she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Definitely that spaghetti noodle ass man outside. He's right outside, sir. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Ha ha. Ha. Sorry. What a jokester! What's your fucking name? Can I zoom? I can't read it. I don't know. Um, it's really bright in here. <laughs> Wait, what am I even supposed to be doing? Let me talk to him again. Sorry. Okay. I guess I can turn my flashlight off now. Ah, look at all the noodles! Guys, I can eat fucking noodles every day. Every day in my life. I would love to go to Japan. That's like number one on my list of places to go because I love the food so much. Not just ramen noodles, but I just, Japanese candy, ugh, so good. All right, we got a little back storage room. I guess this is what convenience stores really have, right? Is this how they stock the shelves? And sit and stare at the shelves? And this is outside. Can I click on this? What is this? What is that? Why is that there? I don't know. 
the hell is this? Why is there caution tape? Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to come back and I'll be able to pick something up there. I don't know. What's over here? Somebody's car. The, uh, the lights are on. Hmm. Wait, I should probably go back in and close this door. So, I don't have a lot of objective right now. This shelf looks fine. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? This shelf looks fine. <laughs> Do they all look fine? Oh, wow, they all probably look fine, right? Is there going to be one that doesn't look fine? Oh. Oh, wait. Looks like some are expired. Take the items off the shelf? Alright. Just got my bag of expired goods. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. What are all of these? Okay, what do I do with this? Can you tell me what to do? I just got a bag of shit now. Is this guy still out here? He's still here. Do you want this? Give me some <laughs> that, This is the best day of my life. <laughs> because I was not expecting that either. This game is surprising me. Oh. He just took it. Where is he going? Why is he just walking off into the darkness with this bag of expired food? <laughs> what the hell? I need to see where he goes. Oh, it won't let me. It won't let me go this far. He is just disappearing into the distance. Goodbye, mysterious spaghetti noodle man with the expired food. <laughs> That's fucking weird. Anyway, 13 bucks an hour night shift. This is the reason I, why I'm here. For $13 an hour? Not worth it. Not worth it. What? Can I? Okay. Can we do something, sir? What are you waiting for? Punch in. Why didn't you tell me that? Where do I do that? Why does there need to be a cutscene for me to come through the counter? What are you waiting for? Okay. Um. Where do I do that? Computer? This is not it. Oh, shit. This is gonna be like Five Nights at Freddy's? Like, what is this? Okay. Oh, you can zoom. You can't really move, though. You can go up and down. Oh! Something's gotta be up over here, you know? But I don't- I don't know what that's about. How do I get out of this? Escape? How the fuck do I get out of this? I don't know how to get out. Help! I don't even know what I press. I just press a bunch of fucking buttons. Okay, this thing? Punch in? What's this? I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Your manager. Okay. Where are you going? Wait! He didn't even say goodbye. I don't even know what I'm doing. Wait. Oh my god, there's somebody here. Who are you? Wait. I can't click on him. He's just leaving me. I- Okay, wait. Sir, let me get inside first. I gotta man the counter. Hello? How may I help you tonight? What is that face? 
Why is he walking so slow? I love that this game like has no explanation at all of what I'm supposed to be doing. It just said clean the expired food or whatever. Is there another car here? Or is that him pulling out? I have no idea. Okay. Let's go check on this guy. Hello, sir. Welcome to the convenience store. Can I be of service to you? Have you found all your products? I can't click on him, so I... Alright, well. Won't let me. Did you find everything you were looking for today? Good. Good. What is this? Can I... Ah, the register. Yes. Let me get on the register. Oh, I'm gonna scan the items. Put your items down. Uh, I didn't even scan them! I don't get it. Okay, um, now I'm just holding a scanner, I think, because I don't know how to put it back down. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I would do well at a convenience store. So, uh, he's leaving. Let's get some of that expired food. While well, no one's here. Let's see. Check the shelf. Sankyu's Choice. Hey, I'll give it a try. Give what a try? We can't eat on the job. Shelf looks fine. I mean, you'll give it a try. What does that even mean? Uh, about the shelf. I rarely buy magazines. But I do buy Austin Lee magazines. Who's Austin Lee? Got a bathroom. Thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. You're welcome. <gasps> There's somebody here. What the fuck? Why is it doing that? weird. It was like it got stuck. Um, alright. I don't see anything else I can click on. Oh, these drinks. Rabbi carrot juice. I've been drinking only that recently. Highly recommended. That's nice. Um, where's the rest of the expired food? Unless I already did it. I must have already done it. Because I gave it to that guy. So maybe... Let me check this little book. I think some food are expired by the time we start. I did. Can you take them off the shelves? Hmm. Alright, well maybe it's already done. Unless there's something over here. I hate this door! Um, nah, I don't see anything else. I think, I think I did it. So now what do I do? So this car is gone. So who owns that car? Let me see if this car over here is gone. Because the guy who worked with us, he has a car, I'm sure. And then the other guy just walked away with the bag of food. And this car is gone! So there... Unless the guy who walked away with the food came back for his car... I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Um, what do I do? I don't see anything for me to click on here. What do I do, guys? <laughs> what am I 
missing? Oh! Looks like some are expired! Gotcha. Got those missing expired foods. What do I even do with them? <laughs> it said take them on the sh take them off the shelf, but um what do I do with them now? Of course this was not gonna tell me. Oh! I probably put it in the garbage now. That's probably what that thing is in between the dumpsters. Right, right? Yes. That's right. Look at me. I'm a star employee. Employee of the month, if you will. Alright. Ah, now what? Hopefully that's everything, because... I didn't see anything else to click on. Oh, we got a truck! We got a big-ass truck! Let's wait for him to come inside. Hello, sir! He's got a package! Is that for me, or...? It's kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. Thank you. I can say no. <laughs> or he'll, he'll probably just wait. Thanks. Got a package. Take it home? Sure. Why am I- Am I shift over? Oh look, there's the store. Do I have to walk my ass back to that store tomorrow? Fuck. Close that. What am I microwaving? I already ate the food. What is this? A videotape? Oh my god, what is this, The Ring? About to be seven days? Let me get my... What the hell? There's nothing in there! I can't even close it. It won't let me. That's it? What even was that? Guys, I don't even have, like, commentary for that. I, I, I don't know what that was. <laughs> it was so short. I can't click on anything. so confused. Do I leave now? Is it like time for work again? I'm so confused. What day is it? God. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. First night. Okay, I thought yesterday was my first night, but fine. Now I gotta walk my ass all the way back to the convenience store. Down the stairs. Oh my god. Unless anything juicy happens, I'll probably skip this part until we get there. <laughs> oh, this must be the bridge they were talking about. And we're back. Spaghetti guy is not here. Hi. 
Hi. Is this a fever dream? I feel like I was just here. Hey, hey. So I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Well, you got a guy to check the sensor, and it seems like the wirings were loose. Ah, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real after all. Apparently my character was scared about the doors when Katie in real life just thought it was like a glitched out game, so. <laughs> Apparently that was supposed to happen. Okay, is that all you gotta say? Would you please punch in? <laughs> what, so you can get the fuck out of here? Is the second I do that? Maybe I never will. You wanna hang out? Wow, this man has no nose. It's missing. <laughs> His face is so flat. <laughs> okay, uh... <wh> <laughs> That's not funny. It's really funny. The way he's standing like this, he's got a big hunchback. Alright, I'm just- I'm gonna stop being mean, but, um... <laughs> Ew, look at that one finger! Punch in. Saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. The first person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Your manager. Wait! Greg! What's his name? I don't know. Greg! Did you leave the garbage open or was that me? Eh! Who is that? Greg! I'm about to get killed by a, a grandma, I think. Ugh. Alright, well... I will wait for that person to come in and then I'll check the rat situation. Could you go any slower, ma'am? All right, what car does he have? He's got that, that car that's parked on this side. So whoever was parked over here yesterday, I don't know who that was. Oh, are you here? Wow, you got cankles. <sighs> Ma'am, can I help you with anything? To speed up your process? Oh my god, I can't even click on her. Oh! That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Oh my god, I hate that. <laughs> can I help you? She's not saying anything. I'm gonna go check the rats while she peruses. I don't know. Wait, what, what is this? Can I click on something here? What is that? What is this? Oh, it's rat spray. Oh my, who did this? I didn't do this. There's no way rats did this. That seems m mean to the rats. Oh, there's one. Right there. Click it. What else we got? Oh, three. Four. Oh shit! I'm coming! Did she leave? Oh, there's just someone else here. Can I put this spray down? Where'd the old lady go? Oh, I think she's in the bathroom. Hi. Don't mind my spray. Nice glasses. It's dark outside, did you know? Can I, um... Can I help you? It won't let me click on him. But maybe that's because I'm holding this spray. <laughs> Damn it. Do I get to go finish this? <laughs> it's 
Sorry, I'll be right back. I got I got two rats to get, and then we'll be back to business. <laughs> oh, here's the fifth one. And number six. Alright. I'm coming. Wait for me. I'm here. Sorry about that. Just had a little rat infestation, if you know what I mean. Ah, how can I help you tonight, sir? Hey, I'm in a hurry. Sorry. Now could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Just a pack of cigar. Hurry up. Oh, okay. Uh, one pack of cigar for you. And five beer that you could probably have gotten yourself, but okay. What kind of beer? <sighs> Go get it yourself. Oh, that's my character talk. I was like, who is talking to me? <laughs> oh. Do I have it? Or do I gotta bring it one by one? Kill me! Just knock me out. Oh my god, I can't click on- There's one. Jesus. <laughs> Three. One more. I don't know why I couldn't carry them all at the same time, but okay. Should I carry them to your car for you? Thank you. You're welcome. This job is not worth $13 an hour, am I right? Ah, and there's our old lady friend. Just came here to take her evening shit at the convenience store. Is she- she's not even moving! This game is just full of unnecessary, like, me having to move around. She's like, I clogged the toilet, can you help me? <laughs> Hugh. Or, ugh. I, I don't know what she's trying to say. Huh? Where's ken -kun? You know where ken -kun is? I thought I heard his voice. I'm gonna talk in an old lady voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? This was your daughter's house? Who the fuck is Ken Coon? Did you break my toilet? Ma'am, I think you're in the wrong house. I mean, store. I mean... Can you get home safe? It's dark out here. How did you even- did you walk all the way here? She won't let me talk to her. I don't know. I hope she'll be okay. <laughs> I'm kind of worried. Uh, now what? I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I got rid of the rats. Hmm. And when am I ever going to have to use this? Oh, there's somebody here. I forgot the- I don't know how to get out. Hello? Great, the doors are doing the thing again. I think it only stops when I, like, walk through it. No, nope, still doing it. Oh, God. I don't know. Do you hear that noise? It's a radio or something? How 
long is this gonna go on for? Because, you know, I got work to do. I think. I'm not really sure. opening and closing my door like a like a kid there's a car coming how do i get out of here what who was that am i being pranked oh there's a big ass truck here again if i get another damn delivery i'm gonna shove it up this kid's ass that's pranking me He's probably the one that dumped the garbage bins. He was here last night, opening and closing the door. So this isn't even a poltergeist. This is like a literal just prankster over here. He does not have a package with him. Hi. What are you doing here? Good to see you again. Ah, uh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Um... Where? Is, how long has this been here? <laughs> okay, here we go. I guess. Well, goodbye! It's nice meeting you. Or seeing you again, I guess. Goodbye! Hmm. I don't know what to do now, guys. <laughs> is I don't know how long this game is. I don't know why I keep touching this. There's nothing going on. But when I did use this, that's when the door started opening and closing. So I feel like I just need to go around and click things to kind of get it to happen. I, I don't know. Maybe I can pick up the garbage from outside and like fix the garbage bin. Okay, whatever. Guys, I don't want to walk to the store anymore. I need a bike. Can we get a bike? Do you ever close your door? What am I... There's nothing to do here. So literally what I have to do is walk out that door and walk back to work. <laughs> and it's so unnecessary. And there's no food in here. And it's raining. Lovely. What the fuck? Oh, it's an umbrella. <laughs> Looks like dynamite. Blow me up at this point. I'm ready. <laughs> That's... Someone knocking at the door? Also, this is very unlucky. Why do I have this open? Did you hear something knocking? Was this just on? Am I going crazy? Wait, was it this person? No. What? It's another tape? Oh my god. This is not what I was expecting, guys. I don't really know what I was expecting. I guess I thought it was just like a silly game at the convenience store that was kind of spooky. I didn't know there was like a full story like this. Watch closely? Sure. Oh 
All right, we got the caution tape again. But where are they? Is it like trying to give me a clue as to where they are? Got my umbrella open. Ah, and we're back. Another dreary night at the convenience store. Where's Greg? Greg? Here? Oh my Jesus Christ! Was he in a locker? <sighs> if I find out that Greg is opening and closing the doors, I'm gonna fight this man. I have literal goosebumps right now. <laughs> I got you good, huh? Okay, okay. Fine, I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. Dot dot dot. Fuck you, Greg. Fuck you. Jesus. Give me a damn heart attack. This is the scariest thing that's happened. Well, bye. Alright, what are we doing today? Some products were missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. Fine. I will do that. <clears throat> Let's restock the shelves. Which I'm guessing I gotta go into this room for. Nice, at least I don't have to pick them up one at a time. Um... Bye, Greg! Yeah, asshole. Oh, is this it? No, nope, that's not it. Are, are you these things? Right? What the hell? Here? It's these... these things. So... there must be a shelf that's missing some. That I just haven't seen. Ah! Ah! Thank God. I was like, where's Waldo? Is that it? I... let me go see. I'm guessing the bento box has got to be refilled and then something over here in the freezer section. There we go. Who locked the door? Greg? Greg? Hello? Can someone? Nobody out here. Who did that? And then unlocked it and then is gone that fast. <gasps> oh my god. What is around your neck? What is that? The fuck is that? Oh god. Hello? I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning? 
Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. Okay. You're covered in paint. You look disgusting. Should I follow him? I don't know. Wait, this is my time. I can check the camera. And I don't have to go out there. And I can just watch what he's doing. What the hell was that? <gasps> Sir! Oh, Hamada! Hamada gonna get eaten by some kid outside. There was something in there and it crawled away. I'm not going out there. I'm scared. Hamada, hurry up. The tape is down. They tore down the tape and everything. Do something, hurry up. Guys, am I supposed to go out there? Oh no, he's done. He's safe. What was that? That was like something out of the grudge, like the little kid from the grudge. That's who's opening and closing my doors. I got a little fucking kid out back. Ah. <sighs> Oh, there's another car here. Or is that him pulling away? Ah! Little lady. Alright, get me off this thing. Hello, ma'am. How's your evening going? Rainy, huh? Oh, he's finished. I'm scared, guys. This game is eerie. Also, I don't know how much longer this game is. Is that him driving away? I don't know, I can't tell. Oh, I'm scared. Hi. Do you want to stay here and keep me company? You look nice. No? Okay. Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on in midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Thank you, ma'am. You sweet soul. I don't know what this is going to do for me, but thank you. Goodbye. Um, now what? Let me look out back. I don't know what that thing was. I'm guessing the night's almost over. Because what did I do? Oh, I haven't finished the shelves. What was that? What is that? What the fuck is that?
The toilet is opening and closing. No. You're gonna lock me in the bathroom, aren't you? Ugh, I'm gonna get locked in. How did I know? Hello? Can someone let me out? The hell? Who is doing this? Is this a, a ghost game? It wouldn't even let me pick it up. I don't know what that was, if it was like a keyboard or something? Clicking? This place is actually haunted! What the fuck? That thing is scary! What are these? Pick up talismans? And do what with it? What do I do with this? Put it in the toilet? What do I do with it? I have no idea what this is used for. <laughs> Am I done restocking? I know that's probably not what I should be worried about right now, but... Like, is that finished? No, I'm not. Alright, let me put, put... Oh, that is all of them. Okay. Let me put that there. And let me finish restocking, I guess, so that this night can fucking end. I don't know if this game is supposed to be over an hour long, but here I am. Hopefully I can edit it down a little bit. <laughs> Alright, I'm guessing these go over here. Alright. Right here. Is that it? So the noodles gotta be stocked. Alright, I think... I think that's it. Now if I pick these up, will it do something? That was me. Or can I pick up the stuff over here? No. I haven't gone out back in a while. Maybe the game wants me to go back out there and like check. Check the back. With the talismans? I, I don't know. Ooh, I'm scared. Oh, I can go up back here. Oh, can I use this? Can I borrow this? Exercise the door? Oh my god. Am I a priest? Okay, that'll do. Yeah, that's gotta work. Yeah. 
think we did a good job. And I got a weapon that I don't know how to use. Cool. This seems good. Now that I exercised that, let me um, let me go back to the TV. All right, I got a wrench for something. Maybe I got a wrench. I got a wrench. Am I supposed to open the air conditioner? Why would I do that? I don't know, but I have a wrench. And it's glowing, which means. Oh, wait, maybe I can fix this. No? Okay, I thought that was it. Let me use my wrench on the air conditioner. Open the AC. I don't know why, but we're doing it. It's a key to the door. Shit, that scared me. Greg? Manager. Shit, I can't get out. What do I do? I'm just in here with a rotting corpse! Jesus. Ah! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! We got a corpse that moves! Fuck me! You're telling me that wasn't the end of the game. You're telling me this bitch needs that $13 an hour that badly that her fucking manager is killed in a creepy ass shed behind the convenience store. His dead body moves, looks at me right in the eyes. And I'm going back to work? This doesn't sit right with me. What is this? Got another tape? Ah! Let's see what it is! Worthless shot, really. I can't believe I have to walk all the way back. I think that pisses me off more than going back to work, is the fact that I have to walk all the way back. Again. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this. How's your night going? You having a better night than me. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? No, bitch, it wasn't. I will bet a million dollars it was not. 
You're a nightmare, though, for going back to work. After that happened. Let's go! Back to work. I hope you guys... Ah, you, you already know my, my sense of humor. <laughs> I feel like new people that watch my stuff think that I probably am just like complaining 24 7 but I'm not complaining this is just the way that I the way that I react to things <laughs> I wouldn't be playing these indie horror games if I didn't genuinely enjoy them I think they're funny I think they're they're just they're fun to watch good content really um, I'm just baffled at this lady right now, the fact that she's even going back there. <laughs> oh, so silly. Also, I, how long is this game, is what I want to know. I was planning on recording other things, but I don't know if I'm going to get to that tonight. I'll have to do it tomorrow. And we're back. Was it all a nightmare? Who knows? Where the fuck is Greg now? I swear to god if he is gonna jump scare me, I'm out of here. I'm quitting. Greg, I'm not playing with you. Where's my time card? Where's my journal? Do I even work here? Was it really all a dream? Does this place exist? happening. What the hell? What the hell is going on? This is like Silent Hill, I'm like in another fucking dimension. That little kid that's fucking bothering me. Ghost kid. That's all I can look at. Just perusing the shelves. Don't come in here. Okay. What do I do? Am I supposed to go out there? Oh, he's leaving. He's leaving. No, he's not. Okay, I'm gonna go out there. I might die, I'm not sure. Hello? Little kid? Guys, I don't know what to do. He's 
still there. What do I do? He's just walking around like he's waiting for me to do something. Alright, you should be close to the desk right now. Kid? Turn it on? Wait, these are TVs? supposed to like turn them all on or okay wait clearly this is like a puzzle hold on maybe he tells me what to do Those are still on. Oh, all of the shelves are TVs. So wait, he goes in there. He turns one on in there. Or he doesn't turn it. I, I don't know. He stops there. Stops there. Two hours later. This one. Down on the right. And this way. In the middle. Yeah? They're not shutting off. Well, let me turn that one on. Is this it? They're not turning off, right? Unless there's a fucking fifth one. Oh, I think I did it because I can't even click the computer anymore. Turn on. It won't let me. What do I do? to do now. <gasps> oh my god. Kid? Do I gotta click on him? He's crying! Really loud! Ugh, I'm gonna die. Honestly, kill me at this point. I'm ready. Hello? Was that? What's this door open? Oh my god, what is going on? Back in the real world now? Oh no, it's just my haunted door. <sighs> but when that happens, I can't even go back behind the counter, it won't let me. Alright, well this door was open back here, so I guess I'm going out back. I don't know what's happening anymore, guys. I'm sorry. Not that I knew what was happening in the first place, but...
Do you hear that? I heard a noise coming from inside. I do! What is this? Fourth night? How many nights are there? Jesus, is this gonna be a series? Now the door's closed. What does it mean? What is this? Garbage. Are you sure? No? I don't know. Send it off to someone else? Yes. Send it. Yeah. Yeah. Get that tape out of my life. Bad things have happened since I've watched these tapes. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said, there seemed to have been a gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments. In 2009, there was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to a grocery shopping, to a grocery shopping, to a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured onto her long, onto her along with her children in her stomach. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work, and he had complained to several colleagues, and on that day of the incident, it is said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With my tear with tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I, I had experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hoso, a franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then with a shivering voice, he said, the manager is dead. I couldn't breathe. So it wasn't a dream, and when I asked about the place where it was found, Mr. Hoso said that there was an old storage behind a convenience store, and that he was found there a day there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. Whatever. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could, because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me, and I wouldn't be able to help but to try and pass as quickly as possible so as not to look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down. The reason seems to be due to poor management, but further details were not publicized at that point. I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. Huh. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There, I saw the woman. When I looked at my hand, I picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. Is it? 
Is that it? So, I sent the tape to the person that sent it to me. I just sent it back. And then it all just ended? Huh. That's interesting. So I feel like there's two endings. There's the ending where I send the tape back, and then there's another ending where I watch the tape. Huh. What did you guys think about that? That was crazy. So I feel like I might have gotten the good ending because nothing bad happened, I just survived. And I wonder if you do watch the tape again, you probably go back to the store and I don't know what happens after that. So I'm definitely not playing this game again because I've been recording for an hour and a half and I gotta cut this down. Um, and there's a lot, there's a lot to do to get to the end of the game. And so I don't wanna replay it if it's just like a quick ending like this one was. Um, so maybe I'll just look it up and see what it is or you guys can tell me down below. That was s so creepy, but really interesting. And I liked it. Um, if you guys have more games like this, um, let me know down below and hopefully I can play them for you soon. We are going to be playing Martha is Dead next, so look forward to that. And yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>